Hey yogis, my name is Savannah and today we are going to bring some ease into your upper back, neck, chest and shoulders and all those areas in our upper body that we hold so tight during the day whether we are working or driving or just stressed out, we're you know kind of holding the weight of a, the world or our world at least on our shoulders. So we'll bring some ease, some lengthening into the neck and some strength into the lower back so that it can help draw the shoulder blades down, bring some relief towards the upper back. So we'll go ahead and just get started in a nice easy seated position. So whatever that means for you, maybe your nice and easy seated position looks completely different from mine. Um, one suggestion is putting a block underneath your hips or a bolster. It can even be as simple as a pillow. So whatever you have handy, sometimes it just feels nice to prop yourself up and up and give yourself some ease right away. Once you feel nice and easy in your seat, go ahead and close the eyes. Let the hands rest down on the thighs. And right away, bring your awareness to your upper back and your neck. Notice the shape in which it's making right now, the weight in which it feels like it's holding, maybe the stress that it's adopted. And with an inhale, squeeze the shoulders up to the ears. And as you exhale, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Do that two more times. Inhale to squeeze high up. Exhale, release. Last time, inhale. And exhale. And let the eyes come to a soft opening. And since today's focus is on our upper back and our neck, we're going to be really particular about how we move these parts of our body. So we'll start off with just some neck movements. And I want you to be very slow with your movements. Right? Usually we're in the car and we're like jerking our neck the other way to look in our rear view mirror, checking out what's happened over there, that accident. So we're gonna just reframe our movement and bring it back to grace and ease. So we'll start with the right hand, just open out to the side. And right away, drop your gaze on your hands and don't let it move away from the hand. As you take a breath in, bring the hands out away from you a little bit. And with an exhale, gently bring it across your chest to the opposite shoulder. The head will have an urgency to move quicker than the arm. Inhale, open the hand out, keep the gaze on the fingertips. And as you exhale, sweep the arm across slowly. The gaze stays with the fingertips. Inhale, chest expands. Exhale, shifting slowly to the other side. Continue on your own breath, taking it nice and slow. And using these first couple movements to just settle into your breath, the speed at which it's at. And we'll exhale the right hand down. And we'll start with the left hand. Inhale, left hand out to the side. Draw your gaze to your fingertips. With an exhale, gently draw it across to you. Opposite shoulder. Inhale, nice and slow. Exhaling it across. Three or four more times. Let the chest expand with the in-breath. And the navel draw in with the out-breath. Many times, moving away from pain in the body is as simple as providing an experience for the body part that is in pain that is with ease, with breath. So instead of looking for the biggest pose, sometimes all we have to do is look for 
the softest movement. Allow the back of the neck to elongate up. With an inhale, stretch the arms out. And as you exhale, draw the elbows in by the side. Feel as if you're pulling two ropes down, almost like you're pulling your heart up, pulling two ropes down. Breathe in, reach out. Exhale, draw in, pull, pull, pull. And last time, inhale. Exhale, pulling in. Nice. Bring the hands down to the mat. The right hand will come down first. The left hand will just reach over to the right. And with an inhale, reach the left arm up. Create a T with the arms. And as you exhale, bring the left hand behind the back. Drop the gaze down to the right hand. Inhale, left hand reaches up, the gaze follows. Exhale, sweeps it behind you. Feel the side of the neck elongate as you draw the head and the arm in opposite directions. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Pause at the end of your exhale. Keep the left hand behind the lower back and see if you can draw the left shoulder back away from the ear a little bit more. Nice, relax the left hand down and we'll just walk the hand across us. So both hands are over on the left. And with an inhale, we reach the right arm up to a T. Let the gaze follow the fingertips. Exhale the right hand behind the back. Drop the gaze down to the mat. Inhale, right arm reaches up, gaze follows. Exhale, sweep it behind you, feel the length. Last time, inhale, nice big breath in. Exhale to soften around the side of your neck. Sweep the right hand behind you and pause here. Draw the right shoulder away from the ear a little bit more. We'll take one full breath in and out of our nose here. Release the right hand down. Walk the hands to the top of the mat. If you're sitting on a block or a bolster, you can kind of just move it over to the side. We'll come to our trusty tabletop pose. Maybe this is your first tabletop of the day. Maybe this is your first tabletop ever, but it's a great foundational pose. And if we can learn how to do this pose right, then we can strengthen and isolate almost any part of our body. Go ahead and plant the hands out wide. So fingertips are almost gripping the mat. The knees are underneath our hips. Right away, draw the navel in. Don't let that belly sink. Find length in the low back. Press the hands away from you. And see if you can elongate the back of the neck here. Chin is drawn in. Maybe you feel yourself have a double chin. It's a little odd at first, but once you feel the length in the back of the neck, sometimes it starts to feel nice. With an inhale, we'll shift forward. And as you exhale, shift the hips back. Allow the rounding of the spine to come up towards the neck. Chin falls towards the chest. Inhale shifts you forward. Keep the back of the neck long. Chin is drawn in. Exhale, start with the tailbone, round it back. Let the chin follow towards the chest. Inhale, unfurls the spine. Exhale, rounds you back, chin to chest. The weight of the head hangs heavy here. Rise back up to a tabletop. Walk the hands forward until you find yourself in a half plank with your knees down. Draw the belly in. Don't let that belly sink just yet. Bend the elbows, hug it in towards the rib cage as you lower yourself all the way down to the mat, nice and slow. Shift your hair to the side if it's in your way. <laughs> Open up the arms a little bit wider than your mat and come to your fingertips. 
relax the chin in towards the chest without fully releasing the weight of the head. So whenever we think of a long neck, chin in, we wanna make sure that the back of the head is in line with the back of the body, but the chin is drawn in, nice. As you inhale, press through the fingertips, rise up. Exhale to release down. We'll bring the hands out a little bit wider. Take a nice deep bend in the elbows. Draw the shoulder blades together as you inhale. Rise up with the breath. Exhale and relax. Walk the hands in by your lower ribs. Shift your hair again if you need to. <laughs> Release your forehead down to the mat. Settle in here. Let the back of the body relax. If the elbows are reaching out to the side, see if you can draw them up. So they're reaching up to the ceiling, the shoulder blades are drawing together. And with an inhale, draw the elbows back. Allow that to lift the forehead up. Think of length rather than lift. Take a breath in. Exhale and release. Bring the hands forward a couple inches. We'll tuck the toes. Lift up to downward facing dog. Take it nice and slow here. Maybe you walk the hands out. Warm up the upper body. Prepare it for downward facing dog. Sometimes downward facing dogs feel better than other days, depending on our upper back and our neck. Sometimes it feels like we're holding the entire pose in our arms and our shoulders. But if we can soften the knees and tilt the hips back, it'll kind of bring some ease. Maybe you drop the weight of the head. Let the neck hang heavy. Inhale to gaze forward. Exhale to walk the feet forward. Let the knees bend generously, so enough so that your chest and your thighs come together. We'll plant the left hand. Keep your gaze on your right hand. So instead of just jerking the neck and opening the upper back, we're gonna keep it soft. So as you inhale, reach the right hand up. Keep the gaze on the hand. Lengthen through the right leg. Exhale, slowly lower the right hand down. Keep your gaze on the hand. Inhale, left hand lifts. Gaze follows. Left leg lengthens. Exhale, slow release down. Just take that one more time on each side. Inhale, right hand lifts, gaze follows, right leg lengthens. Exhale, slow, release down. Inhale, left side. Exhale, all the way down. We'll step back with our left foot. And seal the heel down with your breath in. Press through the right foot, rise up. We'll start with the right leg straight. Make sure the big toe is rooted into the ground. Feel that right leg energetic and strong. And bring the hands down by the hips. As you breathe in, draw the hands in. Bend the right knee, lift through the chest. As you exhale, draw the navel in, press Whatever it is in front of you, maybe it's just air, maybe there's a wall in front of you. Pretend to press it away from you, draw the chin in. Inhale, pull the hands, lift through the chest, extend through the chin. Exhale, press through the hands, draw the navel in, tuck the chin in. Exaggerate this movement with your breath as you breathe in, the chest expands, the chin lifts. And as you exhale, press the front of whatever is in front of you away from you. Draw the chin in. Last time, inhale. And exhale, pause at the end of your exhale. Nice. Drop the hands down by the hips. Bend the right knee. Open the arms out to a T. Find your warrior pose, warrior two. Spread through the fingertips. Stay energetic through the legs. Reach both hands up. And as you exhale, wrap the right arm underneath the left elbow. So we'll find a little bind here. 
And if this is where you're at today, you can pause here, give yourself a little hug, walk the hands back towards your shoulders. Or you can bind the arms, the right arm underneath the left arm, and continue the bind up the hands. Keep the back of the neck long, chin tucked in as you inhale, rise through the elbows. Exhale, draw the belly in. Every breath in helps expand the space in between your shoulder blades. Exhale, grounds you. One more breath. Let's close our eyes for the last breath here. And release the hands down to the front of the mat. Flip the back heel up. Step that left foot up all the way to the top of the mat. Take a slow dip in the hips. Not a super deep one, just a shallow one so the knees are bent. And with an inhale, we'll rise up halfway, draw the arms into cactus arms so the palms are facing down, the elbows are drawing back as if we're pulling something back. As you exhale, release, weight of the head relaxes. Inhale, rise up, halfway lift, cactus the arms. Exhale, release, one more time. Inhale, guides you up. Pull the lower traps down. Squeeze the elbows towards the sides. Exhale, release. Beautiful. Step back with the right foot. Seal the right heel down. The in-breath leads you up. Straighten the front leg. We start with the hands by the hips, and we'll go for a pull and push again. As you inhale, draw the hands back. Elbows squeezing towards the rib cage, chest lifts up. As you exhale, press the arms away from you, tuck the chin in. Inhale, bend the front knee, draw the elbows in, lead through the chest. Exhale, press away, navel draws in, chin tucks in. Inhale. Exhale. Final breath. Exhale to pause. Just relax the hands down. We move to our warrior two, left knee bends, arms reach out opposite directions. Full breath in to rise with the palms. Exhale, left arm comes underneath the right this time. Bind the arms, you can walk the hands back towards your shoulders or you can come all the way up to the hands and this will change what's available to you not only day to day but side to side. So make room for the body to decide what it wants to do today and honor that. As you take a breath in, lead through the elbows. Exhale, ground through the legs. Maybe you close the eyes. Feel the breath expand the upper back. Make space around the base of the neck. Exhale, both hands down to the mat. Flip the back heel up and step that left knee back. Both knees will come down to the mat and we'll shift back onto our heels. Give your arms and your chest a little wiggle. Check in with them, see how they're doing. And we'll move towards one nice little dynamic movement that works the upper back, the neck, the shoulders, everything together in a unit and kind of gives the body a signal or a message of how we would like it to move with length and with ease. So we'll start with both hands behind the lower back and go ahead and lift the hips off of the heels. As you inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale the hand behind the back, turn the gaze to the left, sit the hips back. Inhale, left hand reaches up. Exhale behind the back, twist the gaze to the right. Inhale, right arm reaches, bring the gaze to center. 
Exhale, twist the gaze to the left. Right hand comes behind the back. These movements can get a little slower, a little deeper each round. Last time on each side, inhale, right arm reaches up, gaze to center. Exhale, gaze left, right hand behind the back. Inhale, left side, lengthen up. Exhale, behind the back, gaze to the right. Bring both hands down to the mat. And we'll shift ourselves all the way on to our spine. Give our upper back and our neck a little rest by supporting them and not having them hold themselves the entire class. Part of getting a release in a body part is just taking the body weight or the work off of it. Allow the hands to come down by the hips, palms facing down. Draw the shoulder blades in towards each other so you get a little lift with the sternum. Feel the chin lengthen, or the back of the neck lengthen and the chin draw in. There we go, that's how we want it. And then with an inhale, press down through the hands, press down through the feet, rise up through the hips. Pause here. Keep pressing down through the back of the arms, lengthening through the back of the neck. Take a full breath in. Exhale, draw the belly in, release the spine all the way down to the mat as slowly as you can. And bring the arms out into a T. The knees come high up into our chest and we'll focus on keeping the right shoulder blade grounded. If you have a block, now would be probably a really good time to use it or just test out if your body would like to use it. We'll twist the legs over to the left and if that right shoulder blade pops up, you'll want something to prop the legs up so that the right shoulder blade can go back to being grounded. You never want that joint or any joint really hanging in place. We always want support. Stirha, stability, sukha, ease. Yes, yes, yes. Take a couple breaths in and out of the nose. Allow the gaze to turn all the way over to the right if it hasn't already. Wiggle the fingertips a little bit. Give the arms a little awakening. And draw the gaze back to center. Pull the knees high up into your chest. If you have that block with you, bring it over to the right side. Keep the left shoulder blade grounded. And let the knees travel over to the other side. The gaze shifts over to the left and we soften from there. Allow the breath to come in and out of your nose. Allow it to run fluently up and down the spine. We never want to twist the body so much that the breath can't make its path. And gently draw the gaze back to center. Pull the knees up into the chest. Give them a little hug, maybe a little rock from side to side. And begin to extend the legs out long onto your mat. If you have a little neck roll or something that you'd like to support your neck here, feel free to use it. If you have a bolster, or a pillow that's always really great for your legs, your low back, right? We're working on the upper back, neck and shoulders, but we want our low back to be loved all the same. So find your comfy spot, your place of stability, your place of ease. 
and start to settle in there. Allow the practice to rest into the body. Allow the breath to find its path along the spine again. And from here, we begin to let go, to release, to just breathe. Gently draw the right hand to your heart. Make it a slow motion. So if your hand has already landed at your heart, go ahead and set it back. Draw it back again slowly with intention. And then draw the other hand onto your belly just as slowly, just as intentionally as you place the other hand. Feel the expansion of your inhale into the upper chest. And as you exhale, allow it to soften around the muscles. Hold one leg in at a time. The right leg will come in. Wrap the right hand around the right leg. And then with the left leg, draw it in and wrap the left hand around the front of the shin. And very carefully roll over to your side. Pause for a moment on your side. Take a breath, maybe three, maybe even five. And as you're ready, you can start to rise back up to a seat. Maybe you have a bolster or a block that you'd like to prop yourself up with. Press the hands at the knees. Stack the shoulders over the hips. Allow the back of the neck to be long. The chin is drawn in ever so slightly. Both of the palms will come to meet in front of your heart, thumbs to sternum. Know that no matter the way and no matter the obstacle, the light and love within me will always strive to find the light and love living within you. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I really do hope that your neck, chest, and shoulders feels better and you feel a little bit more empowered, you know, that you have something that you can do to influence your system, to bring you back to your state of center, your state of ease, your state of stability. From my heart to yours, namaste.